Sir, it looks like we're gonna have to get you a new wheel. See, you see where it's cracked? Are you willing to pay for a new wheel? Well, it's fine to me. It's cracked down the middle right here. But look, I mean, it's only cracked here. You got all this side <laughs> and three quarters of that side. That's like 95% still a good wheel. Okay, that's why when y'all say, hey, uh, y'all didn't fix that, pilots are cheap. Customer states, my plane just doesn't feel very responsive. Control lock is in. Let's look behind here. Hey, that's not good. Look at all that movement. You see the screws moving? <laughs> oh man, we'll get that fixed. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this. It's kind of hard to see in here. So first of all, the safety wire is, isn't is very tight at all. And then what's interesting is that when you look at the old temp sensor and the direction the safety wire is pulling it, that is pulling it in the listening direction. So not the worst one we've seen but I'm gonna start recording them just for posterity's sake. About to cut this filter open, but I think I've figured out what happened and why that safety wire was so messed up. So as far as it being loosening up there on the um, the old, sense, old temp sensor wire, that was just messed up, that was FUBAR. But a trick that people do is they will over tighten the filter and then they'll run their safety wire loose and then they'll back off the filter to make their safety wire look tight. And in this situation, I'm guessing the person forgot to loosen the safety wire back, which meant it sat there super tight and we had to get a pipe wrench to take it off. This is an inch. You should be able to take an inch wrench and take it off. So sometimes your life hacks turn you into just a hack of a mechanic. Just do things the right way. If you have to, grab you some safety cable. Don't fight with it for 30 minutes and get frustrated and then leave it looking like crap. Just do the job correctly so the next guy isn't left with a mess or that you aren't left with a mess that you have to fix when you come back and work on the same plane. Do things the right way so I don't have to take your oil filter off with a stupid pipe wrench. Anyways, that's the end of the rant for this. All right, we're about to run it. Uh, let's see here. That volt's right there. That was the issue before that was going off. And then when we checked our volt, we've got 25 going to it right now. The alternator was putting out 23, so it was charging the battery, but it wasn't keeping it topped off. So let's start it and see what we got. All right, we're gonna turn the alternator on. We're gonna watch voltage, so 24.9. Alternator. And it's bringing it down. All right, so the master and the alternator both on, sends current to the alternator field. Took a saw blade and put it, you wanna put it beside the alternator? Let's just assume that this is the edge of the alternator. If the alternator is magnetic, it will pull the saw blade and grab onto it. It's real slight, so you gotta just use something that, that's metallic and light. But sure enough, when I went down there, it pulled the saw blade to it like that. So that lets me know the alternator is getting power. So pretty sure we're at, we need a new oh. alternator. They over crimped that one. We and then this that. is why it wasn't working right here. Good find, sir. <laughs> Look at how, this one's already soldered, ain't no problem. Surprised it was making any voltage. And then look right here, right there. You burn through the wire. Yeah, uh, that's the weld. I'm that's using. that's why when you turn the alternator on, you were losing voltage because it was going to the freaking wire. wire well, was... so the alternator is probably good. That's why the saw test worked because the field still works. But these the other two wires not come so off that big plane over there. They're doing that giant avionics the job off of. Off and it's a good example of what a good crimp should look like this one was crimped with a pair of hydraulic crimpers and they crimped it way too much way too much 
and that led to it breaking off early. Over crimping is a thing. Personally, I like to crimp it and then solder the ends, but the mechanical connection of the crimp should be just fine and it should grab the wire, but it, you shouldn't be compressing the bundle like that much. That's insanely too much. And over time, eventually it will break. Okay, so that was previously covered up by the heat shrink you're currently removing. Yes. And, and uh, what looked to be the covering of a spark plug. Get it? That whole wire's gonna have to be replaced. Well, we don't have that wire, so good luck. Just make it a Bluetooth alternator. Uh, that right there. Golly. So somebody already knew that was there and then covered up with heat shrink. And then I guess this one is new, the bottom one, but that one was covered up. We're gonna have to do the numbers on this size of wire too and see if it's the right one. If it's a 100 amp alternator. And that looks like maybe eight gauge. It might need to be bigger, but we'll figure that out later. But that's the main thing, moral of the story. So we had continuity in this wire because this was touching that crimp that was terrible enough to give us continuity. And then when you were running it, I guess it was doing like this right here from the engine vibrations and then the alternator wasn't putting out nothing. All right, this Baron was sitting in the hangar and I happened to see the bonding strap. He, the owner's not gonna fix it, but I figured I'd show y'all. What we got about? I don't know. 20% of the actual wire still connected. Look at all the strands that are just broke off because it's not routed like it's supposed to be. This isn't a plane we're working on, but I was walking through the hangar and I happened to spot that hanging down, so. Interesting. Y'all, I just wanted to take a minute to film the exhaust on this photo bird. I mean, that's there to keep everything off the camera on the bottom of the plane. But uh, that's got that's got 50 hour ADs on the exhaust, so you don't want to see that coming into the show. Also, it's hideous. I mean, that's ugly. 